Hey, what's up artists, or as I should say it, what's up game developers, because this episode is about game development and um, specifically about animating sprites in GIMP. So as you can see in this game, which I'm by the way making with a friend of mine, um, his YouTube channel is in the video description, um, yeah, for this game I had to animate some, uh, some sprites in a retro style and in this video I'm going to show you how I did this uh, in GIMP. So yeah, this is the game and there are also more videos coming. Um, and now let's hop over to GIMP so I can show you how you can animate retro style sprites. Oh and by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would suggest you doing that because then you will just don't miss out on any future tutorials. Okay, now that we are in GIMP, um, just go to File New and because um, we are going for a retro style, I'm going with 16 by 16 pixels. Um, for a more high-res style, you probably don't want to use GIMP um, because then you want to have uh, armatures um, so you don't have to paint every single frame. Okay, now press OK and we got our little square here. Uh, zoom in by holding down Control and scrolling. And now we will um, delete the layer, normal layer, and add a new layer so we have a transparent background. Okay, of course we need something to draw um, and I'm gonna use a little, um, I'm gonna now make a little animation for a dash. Um, we already have it, but um, well, it's just um, for the sake of this tutorial. And I'm gonna use gray as a color and you can see that I choose this brush because it's the, the hardest, like this. Um, and later I'm going to also show you how you can make some color variations very easily. Okay, so now the first layer is of course the first frame. So draw like uh, anything you want to have on the first frame. Then make a new uh, layer. And you can also leave uh, the first layer visible. But of course select the new layer and draw another shape. So it is evolving like this. And I'm just going to make it now very quickly. So now that I have all the keyframes, um, you can, we can just preview them um, by either um, clicking, clicking them on and off. But uh, this is of course not an animation. To preview uh, all these frames as an animation, you will have to go to Tools, uh, Filters, Animation and Playback. And um, then this little window opens and sadly the maximum is a scale of 400%, which is a little bit small for retro animations. But it works and if you would now press play we can see that this happens which is in my case not what I want because right now he just stacks the layers on top of on top of each other but I want that every frame is um, a single layer so I'm gonna choose one frame per layer and now if you would play it we can see that we got this little animation. Of course this animation doesn't look that great because there's no color variation it's just pure gray. To make color variation we can choose a slightly um, offsetted color and then go over to our brush settings and choose the soft brush right here, hardness 25 and also choose dynamics, um, basic dynamics and now you can see that also the size has changed so I'm going to reduce it to one pixel and if you would now select the layer and draw we can see that we can um, add color variations by um, clicking multiple times on one pixel you will make it darker and only one time um, it only gets slightly darker like this and that way you can add color variation to your um, sprites. So this is about it if you like this tutorial consider subscribing and liking and yeah we're gonna see us in the next video.